The family that votes together stays together. And that carries extra meaning for one family. Keenan Singleton has a story on how the Hayes family has formed its own voting bloc. We, we have some heated games, of course. DNA isn't the only thing that connects Christy and Jonathan Hayes to their children. Competition is in all their blood. They may no longer share a roof with Jackson and Jillian, their two eldest children, but they all share the same message on this election day. I feel like everyone should practice that right to vote, um, no matter who it's for. Jackson is the former Molar star and just wrapped up his rookie season in the NBA with the New Orleans Pelicans. Jillian is weeks away from playing her freshman season with the Bearcats. They're both stepping into a new arena for the first time. It's our first time to vote. It's the first time we can make an impact on the election and all that's going on. Jillian voted today. The NCAA gave all collegiate athletes the day off to head to the polls. Jackson mailed his in from Los Angeles two weeks ago. Speaking up and speaking out, something their parents taught them long before how to dribble a basketball. So it's very important. A lot of people have fought very hard for us to have the right to vote. And I think it's important for the next generation and the next generation to continue understanding the importance of their voice. This year and this election is doubly important to the biracial family. Women achieved suffrage 100 years ago, black men 50 years before that. I vote for those that fought for me to have the right to vote, those that, didn't, that weren't able to vote. Jackson did his part to slam home the importance of voting. He called into a class at Grambling University to encourage his peers to vote. We get enough people to vote that we can actually make a change. The change begins at home. Keenan Singleton, WCPO 9 Sports.